Do you think that it's harder to potty train boys more than it is to potty train girls? Well, in today's video, we are going to talk all about problems that you can run into specifically with girls. Hey guys, my name is Missy Yondo. I'm the owner of Slumber and Bloom. I'm a certified pediatric sleep consultant and potty training coach. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. So first things first, all kids are actually really easy to potty train. You really just need to wait until your child is ready. So you need to make sure that you're seeing all the signs of readiness in your child and knowing that they are fully ready for potty training so that you're not wasting your time and making it harder on yourself. If you're not sure if your child is ready for potty training, then click the link down below and you will take my very quick and easy quiz to find out if it is the right time for your child to be potty training trained. So that's really the first problem that parents typically run into when potty training girls. And obviously it goes for boys as well, but this video is specifically about girls. Now, if your daughter is not ready for potty training, then it's not going to go very well. And some parents will say it's not really going as I expected. Well, this isn't your process, it's your child's process. And you need to make sure that your child is ready before jumping into potty training. So the second thing that parents might run into when potty training girls is painful rashes. When girls are not wiping properly, they are subjected to a lot more rashes in the vagina area. And as difficult as it is to kind of talk about this and think about your daughter being in that kind of pain in her privates, it's really important to talk about. Girls who either aren't fully wiping, aren't wiping at all, or aren't wiping properly are going to be more subjected to infections, rashes, and a lot of discomfort. So a lot of times when girls aren't wiping at all, then they think that they're just gonna like drip dry, but like do not let your kid do that because it's just going to breed infection and bacteria. So you wanna make sure that you are teaching your child how to wipe properly. Now I have a whole video on how to wipe right up here, click this link after you are done watching this video, but this video is going to go further into depth on how to help children learn how to wipe. But it is so, so, so important that when you're potty training your girl, that you are always teaching her to wipe from front to back. Like every single time that you wipe your child, even before you start potty training, as you're changing your child's diaper, just say things like, mommy's wiping you now, daddy's wiping you now, wiping you from front to back. And just always those little things that's teaching your child the next step is going to help with that process. Okay, so the third thing that parents can run into when potty training their girls is similar to the second thing, but a little bit different. So girls are more subject to getting UTIs than boys. This can be for a number of reasons, but it is definitely important to seek out medical advice if you think your daughter is getting a UTI, and if she does have a UTI, then this is one of the only times that I say it's okay to completely stop potty training, go back to diapers, and revisit in a month or two. Because you need to make sure that your child is in the best health conditions possible before you start potty training. And the fourth thing that we are going to talk about in this video is that with girls, sometimes it is harder to tell their potty cues than boys. So obviously boys genitalia is on the outside, girls genitalia is on the inside, and it's a little bit harder to see. With boys you can kind of start to see them dribbling a little bit and see the pee kind of like needing to come out. With girls, obviously, you can't. So sometimes it's a little bit too late and you don't really catch the pee until like you're catching the pee. Um, but with boys, it's a little bit easier to, you know, catch it a little bit sooner. So with girls, sometimes you're really just kind of like catching their, you know, like mid pee accident. And with boys, you may be catching them like right before they're starting to have an accident. But either way, it might be a little bit harder. This is not an end all be all trouble problem with girls, but it can be something that you want to look into. So when you are beginning to potty train, you wanna really, really keep a very close eye on your daughter and her potty cues. So when she needs to go to the bathroom, she may just kind of like start wiggling a little bit in her seat or like whatever she's doing. Some girls will kind of like hold themselves. That is more common with boys. Um, but obviously every child is different. If you do run into this, just kind of take note as to how often your child is having accidents and kind of prompt them to go to the bathroom before that happens. 
So that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned from it. Let me know in the comments down below if your daughter was harder to potty train than boys. I can honestly say from my experience that my daughter was harder to potty train than my boys because she decided when she wanted to potty train and I did not think she was ready. So she is definitely the kind of girl who wants to do things her own way on her own watch and that's exactly how she did potty training and I wasn't ready because I had a one month old. So that was uh, an experience in itself. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss next video and keep blooming. Mwah.